Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 on No Man's Land. Bit of a different episode today, I've decided I'm going to sell everything I own. Bit of a weird decision but um, I wanted to be closer to the shop. I realised I was just driving back and forth. The No Man's Land area is just a little bit outdated and just a bit grubby. So I just thought I'm going to sell everything I own, sell all the buildings, sell the plot of land because they're all worth eight to 5000 whether you buy them or sell them. So I've got to get rid of every point off there, sell it all, and I think I should be around 350,000, quarter of a mil, 350,000, something like that. And then we can finally finish off the town because we did do the bottom end of the town, which is here on the left. And I want to do the bit right at the shop. We've got this big field. There's not much going off down at the bottom apart from um, greenhouses and things like that. But I just thought it would be really nice to get some nice modern buildings, get it all looking really nice, and we're going to turn this place on its head. So bear with me as we complete the No Man's Land map and finally finish off the full, beautiful, stunning town. Welcome back, I am just looking at placing two new greenhouses. These are absolutely brilliant money wise. They're drawing a lot of income just from little bits of water, I won't be getting the free water anymore. I was almost draining that lake. So I need to put a little water tower in so it will cost me money but they still make a really good amount of money these. Or looking at, I might get into strawberries to start looking at making cakes. I'm definitely going to be getting cows on the next episode. So we can start producing some milk, get some dairy products going. Once we've got milk, do the huge field of sugar. Get some sugar cane. We'll have sugar and milk and we can make some chocolate, cakes, things like that. So it's looking good. I'm glad. I've, I'm already glad I've made the move. Looks a lot nicer down in this bit. I will show it in the daytime. As you can see, we've got 32,000 left. So we've sold everything at the old farm. Moved down to this one. And I have to admit, I'm more than happy with it. I'll get everything put into place. Show you around. And then we'll get back down to daylight, so we can show you properly in the daylight. But yeah, I think that was a really good decision because we've got a lot of money for everything that we sold there. And it's nice to actually get No Man's Land starting to look like a proper map now. So we'll get this bit finalised and I'll bring you back in the daytime.
Good morning, so this is what it looks like on the new area. As you can see we're into January, I have put these um, these little placeables down, they're really handy because they move with the season, so as now it'll be snowman, in Easter you get eggs, in the summer you get and spring you get flowers, so it looks really nice, so they're quite good because it keeps the map updating, makes it feel a bit more alive. I'm just going to jump in here. We're going to have a lot of wool to move over. So we'll get this over to the spinnery, the production chain. I really enjoy this one. That must be one of the best additions for me on Farming Simulator 22, just these production chains. They're really good because it's not just concentrating on one bit of money. On one product, you can turn products into multiple things, so it's really good. I will be going down to the cow's route as well soon, as I said earlier. I might do a little video on that as well to help people out if they're wanting to get into cows, because at the moment we just have sheep as his livestock. You can see an awful lot of grass there as well that I'm going to turn into silage. I did uh, spend a day mowing grass. Spend an in-game day, not a real day. An in-game day. Mowing the grass on the game, getting a load of bales together. I thought I may as well take full advantage of my uh, my bale wrapper. And what that does is I've um, fed the sheep pens both up to full. And I've stored all the remaining grass and that's going to turn into um, silage. And I can use that when I get my cows to turn it into total mix ration. But obviously I'll go through all that on the next video and I'm going to also do a little tutorial. To help everybody out who wants to get into the cow business. Absolutely beautiful day again in January. A bit frosty and cold this morning, the snow is coming so I want to get all this wool over. Get this finalised today before the snow hits tomorrow, I've been looking at the forecast, heavy snow. So I'm getting everything over, so it's all done, moved, ready. No one wants frozen wool to be working with in this spinnery. So I get this last batch over. And we'll go and settle down and await the snow again. And then it will be spring. But it's perfect that we've just got everything built and everything done just in time for the winter so it can relax in this nice new modern home. Just jump out of that. I think I'll show you around the town just before we get going. Down there's the sugar factory. I'll give you a full tour of that later on. And this is the new town, we've got the bit to the right here with all the shops and the playground. Would be nice to get some people walking around here. My house on the left. Absolutely love that compared to the old house, it's beautiful. And then we'll just go down here, this all lights up at night as well. We've got some other residents here, some nice houses. Trying to make it look quite villagey. And we have our greenhouses which will bring us in a nice little bit of money I was trying to work out which is the most profitable it looks like lettuce as you can see the tomatoes strawberries they all give you different values um, the lettuce takes two parts water to make one batch whereas the strawberries and tomatoes don't so tomatoes and lettuce are quite close money wise strawberries are Probably the least profitable, but obviously you need them to make production chains like cakes and things. So I am going to initially try some strawberries just for the first one. I probably, I've got a feeling I might go back to lettuce. Because they are very profitable, but I'm going to try some strawberries. There's the sugar factory on the right, which will turn the sugar cane into sugar. I do much prefer this, it's close to the shop, everything seems a bit more alive, everything's close together. Big field and production's at the end, then we've got all this housing complex type part here, the nice little town, village bit. Just nipping down to the shop to get one of the Joskins for the water, as you can see it's a bit bumpy. Tried my hardest to get that as flat as possible, but that's the best I could do for now. I put that house in, it lifted the ground up. So I've just got this Joskin. Fill this up with water and we'll use this to fill up our greenhouses. 
to get those in operation. It does cost me money nowadays, unfortunately, but the price you have to pay for living in luxury. Let's see how bumpy this is with some on back. Not too bad, actually. I'll take that. That's why I have a powerful tractor. Let's get this filled up and we'll go strawberries filled up. And then that will be it for today. And then we're welcome in February and I'll bring you back when we do as cows on the next episode. When we start producing milk, I'll also do a video of how to make total mixed ration nerfing, so watch out for that. Cheers for watching, I'll see you on the next one.